Hey, what's up everybody? Jeremy here at Travia to get you up to speed on everything happening around and inside Verizon. We continue working to restore our network in areas of Florida devastated by Hurricane Michael. Here's wireless network leader Nikki Palmer after assessing the area. The way that this Hurricane Michael has just, you know, pummeled Panama City and the surrounding areas is a devastation of a very unique kind. I mean, I saw trees that are just split completely in half, not one or two, but miles of them. Um, from a network perspective, we have a cell tower that is just bent in half, like I've never really seen before. So the devastation is real. Um, the effect on people is very, very real. And that's why it is so important for us to restore our network just as quickly, as quickly as possible. Thanks, Nikki. Our crews are making good progress, but we still have work to do. All the latest details are on the web. The images and stories from the hardest hit locations are just heartbreaking. We're there for our customers and every Verizon customer in Bay and Gulf counties in Florida will be automatically credited for three months of service. And this is also a good reminder that we can still help our teammates who are in need with V2V, our employee relief fund. 100% of the money goes to help V-teamers in need like Katrina Moore Ortiz, who had this to say about V2V. I just want to take the time out to say thanks to everybody who donated. The storm changed my life forever. I lost a lot and one thing I'm happy about is V2V blessing me and letting me know you guys had my back and cared about me and my family. Thanks for sharing, Katrina. And now here's Alex with the rundown. A new study found that 27% of surveyed college students reported using Snapchat for their daily news. And that number jumps to 46% with high school students. The ease of finding news was cited as a major factor, making Snapchat the second most popular source of news among students. Facebook remains number one. Apple has partnered on an app for knee and hip replacement patients. The app called My Mobility works with the Apple Watch and iPhone, providing patients with guidance before and after their surgeries. It also tracks their activity, allows surgeons to monitor the patients, and lets the patients connect with their surgeons through secure messaging. And finally, Instagram will use machine learning to spot bullying in photos and their captions. Humans will still review the content before making final decision, but it should catch some harassment early, whether reported or not. And that is the rundown. Thanks, Alex. Hey, Jeremy, do you have a minute? Sure do. All right, well, I have the perfect way for you to spend it, getting to know wireline leader Yoli Stancil in what might be the most questions answered in 60 seconds. Best life lesson. Don't be afraid to ask for a do-over. Something you want to learn more about. Uh, technology. Favorite family activity? Board games. Song that changes your mood? I'm every woman. Sing it. I'm every woman. <laughs> it's all in me. I <laughs> love it. She answered 21 questions and still had time to sing some of her favorite song. You can check out the full 60 seconds on the web. That will do it for us today. Follow us on social for everything happening around and inside Verizon. And be sure to watch Jimmy Kimmel Live tonight. You just might see a guest appearance from one of our own V-teamers. Jimmy Kimmel Live airs weeknights at 11.35 p.m. Eastern on ABC. Until next time, you are up to speed.